Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are super excited for another Al Murray video. That's right. She understands what's up. And we're really super excited learning and watching Al Murray. This guy is hilarious. This guy knows what he's talking about. He can probably educate you in a conversation debate. And he's almost better. Al he's almost. I can't speak right now. He's almost as good as Al Murray. <laughs> Al Murray is garbage compared to this guy. <laughs> he is the alter ego. No one cares about Wario. It's all about Mario. No one cares about. Well, Waluigi is actually pretty cool, but. Getting back to this, we got a lot of requests from some Al Murray videos. One about uh, different nations, but that's a longer video. We don't have much time today to record that, so look out for that in the future. Joey, which one are we checking out today? Why the British are undefeated World War champions. Now, <laughs> world War, huh? All well, right. you know, world War I, World yeah, War II. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Undefeated. Now, hopefully it mentions a little bit of an assist. A little bit of a few assists, I'm just saying. Some allies, but... We were kind of slow to get into World War II. I mean, you have to admit, like, we oh, yeah. we hung back. The people didn't long. want it. No, they and didn't. And then Pearl Harbor happened, and the people wanted it. Yep. And so, uh, you know, if you know a little bit about the history, I know just a little bit, right? When uh, President Roosevelt, he wanted to get, he wanted to get involved. And he was secretly right? sending all yes. this weaponry Trying and to find all these supplies different things. to England I to help out. the whole out. Lease Land Act and all that kind of stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I think that was part of it, too. But I'm um, just top of my head. Anyways, I'm kind of disappointed because this is less than five minutes. And I, I could listen to this guy talk about it for 20 minutes. Because I know he's going to he's gonna speak some truth, absolutely. But he's also going to have a little bit of like that brassness, if you will. And a little overconfidence about it, which I absolutely love that his kind of attitude. The pub landlord, if you will. But uh, we're going to go ahead and check this out. If you like Al Murray, if you're just discovering us, thank you so much for clicking on our video. We really appreciate it. We have a few other Al Murray videos where she mispronounces his name. That's where the Al Murray thing comes from. But she was easily defeated on that um, debate we'll... by yours truly. <laughs> if you like this video, she's trying to skip on to the next one, and you like our reaction, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next uploaded videos. Yeah, put the headphones on. I was just re like, you know, She's like setting it up. so excited. See how excited she is for some Al Murray? Murray, yes. No, that was the guy that was horrible. You love Murray. You know you do. Here we smell. We currently, the British are World War champions of the world. Undisputed. <laughs> Undisputed World War. Yeah. We haven't lost a war. We haven't lost a war for a thousand years. That is a fact. I say, he lost it to us. Yeah, we even had a war against the French that lasted a hundred years called the Hundred Years War. No but the reason it lasted a hundred years is because we're enjoying winning it so much, we spun it out for the full century. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If it's going well, you stay at a crease, don't you? Now, the point is... I mean, we had to help the Americans in the Iraq War, and there are people who say the Iraq War was unnecessary. I cannot agree. It was essential practice. In case one comes along, we've actually got to fight, wouldn't it? <laughs> got to stay max fit in case the Germans try again. <laughs> I've been too quiet for too long. <laughs> I mean, they're saying Iraq's turning into a new Vietnam. Oh, no, loads more f***ing miserable films with Yanks in. <laughs> now, the point is... <laughs> no, we had to help you. We had to help the Americans, because yeah? they've never won one on their own before, have they? And they... They, <laughs> <laughs> they came to the experts! <laughs> Undefeated World War champions of the world, because the British Army... The, yeah, the British Army works on a simple system, doesn't it? Yeah? The American Army, yeah, a dog's breakfast, with all due respect, because yeah? the battle plan for Iraq was a disaster, wasn't it? Because what did they do? And we all knew it was a rubbish battle plan. You knew, didn't Heidi? You knew, didn't you, love? And it doesn't concern you, sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone knew. <laughs> the boys knew the Yanks were going to f*** up, didn't you, fellas? You knew, didn't you? You knew. Yeah, Ludwig. Yeah, you knew with your um, detailed understanding of military campaigns. We all knew. <laughs> Phil knew. Yeah, as Vera slammed the phone down on him and yet again. He knew. <laughs> You boys, you knew, didn't you? Yeah? Yeah, the American battle plan, you knew, didn't you, Andrew? Your head full of uniforms. Oh, those poor boys. <laughs> we all knew. 
Listen, a lot of inside jokes from We all knew, because what did the Americans do? Sure. Basic, bottom line, battlefield error. They sent Marines, 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 water soldiers, <laughs> and they sent them to fight in the fucking desert. <laughs> you, you don't mess around with How was that ever going to work? Baghdad's a five-hour drive at best if you ignore the speed cameras. <laughs> Three weeks in a speedboat. Come on, fellas. <laughs> Baghdad or bus, boys, come on. Let's pedal. I don't know what I've been told. Nonsense. <laughs> so what did we do? We're in the desert. We did the obvious thing. We sent the desert rats. Because the clue is in the fucking name. <laughs> Phone rings, we're in the desert. Well, we'll send the desert rats then. It's obvious, George, that was just stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, okay, I'll tell them to paint the van yellow. <laughs> oh, get away from me. Now, I'll put this. Yeah, because that's how the British Army works, isn't it, fellas? On a simple job name description allocation system basis. Because we are the most sensible, normal, down-to-earth people in the world, yeah? The British Army works on a job, name, description, allocation, system basis. Very simple, yeah? You've got the desert rats for fighting in the desert. It's obvious, isn't it, yeah? You've got the parachute regiment for parachuting. It's obvious, isn't it, yeah? <laughs> You've got the Royal Engineers for going behind enemy lines and putting out cones, haven't you, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Slow the traffic down to 20 for no fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> Stand in a luminous no, top and do nothing, see, disrupting see, the enemy's infrastructure. Brilliant work, fellas. <laughs> We've got the Scots job, Guards getting on the Scots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got the Irish Guards getting on the Irish. Not so busy anymore. And of course, <laughs> now we're all friends. And of course, the Welsh Guards for simply keeping an eye on the Welsh. Mind you, there's nothing to guard in Wales since they dug out all the coal. They should have. <laughs> should have paced themselves, really. Now, the point <laughs> is. We've got the Horse Guards for guarding the horses, haven't we? Yeah? Horse artillery for firing horses at the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking them out. Achtung! Horse! <laughs> and of course, the light infantry for fighting during the day. It's a simple system. <laughs> Special forces, soldiers who can't read. A simple system. <laughs> laid out plain and simple okay, so the Queen, who's a woman, can understand how her army works. You can't argue that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> guy he he takes no prisoners right i mean anyone is fair game for crying out loud and not exactly what i thought the video was gonna be about not gonna lie but um still pretty funny the different the desert rats i didn't know that was their uh nickname is that like what it's actually called like we would call the army or the uh air force or whatever a desert rats or is that just like a nickname like the um like navy seals or whatever yeah i don't know i don't know i would want to be called a rat i mean people don't want rats to be there right so they don't want you to be there so maybe they're afraid of you in some way there you go i don't know rats hung out in the desert yeah i always thought about them in like the sewer or something like that this wasn't exactly what i thought it was going to be about but I mean, there was a lot of stuff, too, that I didn't even know what they were talking about. Yeah, I think there was a lot of inside jokes that we missed, and they kept focusing on those boys in front. And the one in the pink shirt had something Detroit on it, so I don't know. Were they Americans, and that's why he, they kept looking at them, or were they British? And I don't know. They, did you, I've never seen them in one of these videos focus on the same part of the audience over and well, over. Well, we know that one we watched of his where he, like, talks to the audience and this yes. and that kind of stuff. I wonder where you can get like the entire, maybe it's on his channel, I didn't even realize it, like the, the entire show to see what, when he talks to those people, because he seemed to remember like all their jobs or this or that or where they're from. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, and you know, and you know it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I did like how you made that little dig at the Scotland Yard and the Welsh guards and all that stuff and their little areas just protecting their people and that the yeah. Welsh need to slow down because they Use have all done coal. too much. Yeah, done too much too fast. He's not r really wrong about the Iraq war. That wasn't the, uh, and I'm, again, I'm not the expert on it, but that, it wasn't the most efficient way of going about things or whatever. And it lasted like forever, you know, staying in there and staying in there and staying there until the troops were slowly but surely paced out, being pulled out of there or whatever. And then unfortunately, once the troops pulled out though, they lost their government yeah, and the Taliban came back in. So, so, I mean, there was a, there was some good things about 
us being there, right? But it yeah. came at great cost, like it always does. Well, and I think it was things that even as us Americans, we're like, why are we still there? Like, give them their country back. Like, but I guess now looking at it and how we left and then they kind of lost their country again. I guess we didn't fully understand either as citizens, yeah, well, the whole extent of what was going on. It's tough when you're a, a world power, right? Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you know, try to have influence here or there. So, I mean, he wasn't necessarily wrong about that. Um, you had mentioned, you know, lost the American Revolution. Or I think in a video, the video he said they lost interest, but still lost the war. For seriously, seriously. Wild. We were able to fight that one on our own. I'm just and saying. Then, like, I'm just saying. Other comments like, well, that was technically us fighting us because we were, you know, British citizens. That, you, know, you, guys okay, turned, okay, okay. you guys turned to, uh, you know, what they call them, patriots at the time. There was but the not US. everybody was British. Some people were Spanish. Some people were French. Oh, yeah. And that was a huge majority. Like, we came from all the... <laughs> <laughs> and you could say that we got help from different... Um, other countries and whatnot to help us France, land, you know, they had an assist there, but... Eventually, we ended up pushing them all out and claiming this is our country. Yeah. Declaration of Independence. Let us know what you think about this video. <laughs> let us know what you think about our reaction. What else should we be checking out, whether it's from this comedian or a different comedian? Please let us know. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Goodbye.